Hey you guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel, Merry Vlogmas Day 9, as you can see by the title of today's video and probably by the setting of what's going on behind me. I am bringing you a pack with me for this very exciting winter trip that I am going on. I'm going to be sharing with you guys a whole bunch of organizational tips and life hacks and stuff that I have found super nice when packing. I travel quite a bit and I feel like I have definitely mastered the entire packing system and I don't know, I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I do every time I pack and just to make sure that you guys don't miss anything and the best way to fit all of your stuff. I have never packed for a winter trip before so I'm not sure how I'm going to pack in two luggage. I'm limiting myself to two checked bags for the sole purpose of the fact that I can't wheel around five and I'm only going for a week so I feel like I shouldn't need more than two luggage. I do have quite a bit of boots and jackets that I want to bring and scarves and hats and gloves and stuff so that in and of itself will take up majority of my luggage but of course we need a whole bunch of basic pieces and layering options to have for under the bigger styled pieces and accessories. I have waited until the very last minute to do this. I am leaving so soon and I have no more time to spare here. You guys will be coming along with me on this entire trip for Vlogmas, so be sure to subscribe and stay tuned so you don't miss all of the very fun content. You guys will see a load of familiar faces and I'm so excited to bring you guys along on this trip. But of course, before we go, we have to pack, so... If you want to see and come along with me on my packing, then keep on watching and yeah. I just laid out my two checked luggage that I plan on bringing as well as my duffel bag for on the plane. And right here on the floor, I have gathered all of my bigger style coats and blazers and Sherpa jackets and leather jackets and trench coats so that I can start making some outfits with them and see which ones I definitely want to bring and which ones I don't want to bring. Like I said, this will take up majority of my luggage. So consolidating and really narrowing this down will make my life easier. And right here on the floor as well, I have, I think, five chunky scarves. Again, don't know if I need all of them, but they are all different colors and patterns. And right over here, I have a pile of new Levi jeans that I just recently got from Amazon. And right here on my bench, I have a whole bunch of beanies and some Sherpa bucket hats and a few more scarves, a trapper hat, and just a whole load of accessories, some earmuffs as well. And right here is a little overview of my closet for those of you guys who have never watched my channel before. I am doing so much laundry right now, so if some of the shelves look a little sparse, that is why. I wear sweatpants, I kid you not, every day. So that's why there's some missing there. And here is the other side. So I'm gonna start with this section here and just go through and pull out whatever basic style sweaters and tops I think that I will need. I also need to pick some bag options for more accessory options. And then of course, I'll have to go through my bathroom drawers and figure out what makeup products I'm bringing, what toiletries I'm bringing, and all of that fun stuff. <laughs> So I'm going to start by grabbing a whole bunch of clothing from different sections of my closet, laying them out, and once I narrow it down from that point, I will then start making outfits. I kid you not, I wear these every single day instead of wearing real bras. They are the comfiest things ever. Sometimes I'll wear them as a full-blown top in the summer, but in the winter I'll wear it as an extra layer and they're just so soft. I get them either from Skims or from Amazon. And some more tops, some fun ones for going out, and some basic style for just lounging. My camera is currently charging, so I switched over to my phone, but here's what my bed is looking like. I have two sweatshirts on the top right, my makeup case, a pile of long sleeve shirts and sweaters, my headphones, obviously, and here are two piles of tank tops and one going out top just in case. And I have here a few more pairs of jeans, trousers, and a pair of cargos, and then three pairs of sweatpants. Like I said, I am currently doing a few loads of laundry, so there are a ton more basics that will be added to these piles as soon as it's ready, but for now, from what was in my closet this is what we're working with and right here are two pairs of sneakers and three boots that i plan on bringing this will take up one whole side of my luggage so i don't think i'm going to bring both tall boots also for the sneakers i think i'm going to try to just narrow it down to one pair and then the uggs are just a staple so i definitely have to bring those it's time to pack some toiletries this is my all-time favorite case it's from revolve and it's the brand stony clover it's so nice and big and it fits literally everything so i'm gonna start off by just throwing all of my skincare and hair care products in here like so. There's no method to this. I just put them all in. It may seem like it's impossible to find stuff, but because it opens so large, you can see everything perfectly fine, even if it's just tossed in. And some more essentials. 
And here I have this clear toiletry case from Amazon. I will leave it linked in the description. It's on my Amazon storefront, but I just have some liners in here. Since these are smaller and will definitely get everywhere, I keep them together in this little case. And then I just put it in on the side like so. And then using another kind of organizer, I'm going to add all of my hair accessories, my slicking brush, a comb, a baggie of little rubber bands, and a whole bunch of these rubber bands, which are my absolute favorite. They are linked on my storefront as well. They are so nice and stretchy and the most perfect material. They don't break your hair and they're super gentle. So yeah, I have a load of those because I tend to use three or four every time I do my hair and sometimes I lose them or misplace them when I take my hair out of the bun. Can't go wrong with having a bit of extra. And then I'm gonna add these two clips as well for when I get ready or whatever. And I'm also gonna add this little headband bow for when I wash my face or do my makeup or whatever. And I'm also gonna take a few of these clips if I'm doing makeup or skincare again. So here is my bag of hair accessories and stuff for styling. So I do have somewhat of compartments since I add these organizers to the bigger case, but my actual products themselves kind of just get thrown and tossed in there. And of course, I can't forget my contacts, so those will go in here as well. And in another one of these clear organizers, I'm gonna put a bunch of Q-tips. I always go a little overboard with the Q-tips, because I use them for doing my makeup and obviously for cleaning my ears and you just never know when you need a q-tip so I have a whole bunch here I think I'm gonna stand up my contacts along the side here and I'm gonna put this on the other side here and yeah so everything is kind of in its own spot and I'm also gonna add this little mirror it's linked on my storefront for getting ready or for doing mascara I like to have a mirror close to my face so I'm just gonna add this to the side there so it's nice and flat along the back obviously taking my toothbrush in a toothbrush holder I almost forgot my two favorite creams ever we just cannot forget those and I'm also gonna pack this micellar water with my cotton rounds obviously for the purpose of removing makeup and as far as my face cleanser I think I'm gonna buy that once I get there so now I'm just going to zip this up and as you guys can see it is so big and so full and here is my makeup case. It is looking so messy. Everything is everywhere. And I was in such a rush last night when I was getting ready that I didn't have any time to keep this baby organized. It is now time to retire this beauty blender and add a new one as well as retire these powder puffs. I swap these out every few weeks. They come in a pack of six or eight. So swapping them out is definitely crucial. And I always get the beauty blender packs in two or three. And I find that swapping them out and using clean brushes and sponges and powder puffs and stuff really helps to avoid acne and irritating your skin. And I will clean my makeup brushes at least once a month, if not more. That is, again, another tip and definitely something that everyone should be doing to avoid, like I said, acne or any type of irritation with your skin. So it's been a few hours and here is what my luggage is currently looking like. It is not anywhere near ready. I still have those two loads of laundry and I need to go through that and add whatever else I want. As far as what's going on currently, in this pile right here I have three pairs of jeans, a few skirts, a pair of leather pants, as well as a pair of cargos. Right next to that I have some jumpsuits and some thermal pants as well to just have extra layers and keep me nice and warm in case we do end up going skiing. In this whole pile right here are five chunky scarves and a few beanies as well. And in this section here, I have three coats and two sweatshirts. This bag I decided on bringing. And in this section here, I have a few more beanies as well as a few swimsuits since we do have our own little jacuzzi, hot tub, whatever you want to call it. And over in this luggage, I have a packing cube which has all of my little tank tops and my going out tops as well as my long sleeve tops. And this helps to avoid everything going everywhere when your luggage is being tossed around at the airport. So I put all of these in one packing cube, but as far as everything else, they're all a bunch of fur hats and scarves and stuff like that. And I just wanted to stuff and fill in all of the empty gaps. So that's why I didn't put packing cubes for all of this stuff. And these things are too big for packing cubes since they just take up enough space in and of themselves. And right here I have three pairs of sweatpants as well as this fur bag that I'm so excited to be bringing. And in this last section, I have my three pairs of shoes 
shoes and I will be wearing my Ugg boots on the plane just because I want to wear a thicker style shoe so I can save up some more room in my luggage. I have all of my socks in this little compartment as well as some more hats. These are nice compartments that obviously come with the luggage. I know this is not a good example of traveling while using packing cubes but I think it's because since I'm traveling to a colder place and everything is so big there's not really a need for the packing cubes whereas every other time I typically travel it's somewhere warm or somewhere that I'm bringing super small styled things and skirts and shorts and little tops and bikinis and stuff like that so packing cubes definitely come more handy in occasions like that but as for this specific trip I don't think packing cubes are as crucial and right here is my duffel bag that I also travel with every single time I go away I have my makeup case like you guys already saw and I bought this insert from an Etsy seller for this duffel and it has been an absolute game changer it makes everything so nice and organized and if you have this duffel or know anything about this duffel you know how annoying and frustrating it can get when everything just goes everywhere and it like flops around if it's not full to the brim so I have a few pairs of sunglasses I have a lint roller as well because all the chunky scarves and hats and everything with fur get everywhere so I feel like I'll definitely need that and then of course I'll be bringing my computer as well as my sound machine this aqua four and I currently have my headphones charging for my flight and here are a bunch of wires that I need to sort through and see what I need to bring for electronic stuff and filming and editing and all that fun stuff and I also have my toiletry case which I think is going to go in this compartment. I'm going to end up putting all of my shoes in the garbage bags so that they're protected and also the dirt that's on the bottom of them doesn't get everywhere else in my luggage so I don't mind putting my toiletries with my shoes since they will be concealed and not out like they are right now. And right here I have my outfit for the airport. Like I said I'm wearing my Ugg boots. I'm wearing the leather bomber just to save myself a little more room and this jumpsuit. The matching sweatpants are currently in the wash so I think I decided on keeping these two shoes home. The boots take up way too much room and I already have a pair of sneakers so I don't think I need two. But yeah, I'm literally so tired already and it is not even six o'clock. I have to go and finish those two loads of laundry downstairs. I also want to shower and just order some dinner and get in bed already and edit this vlog so you guys can watch it. You guys are watching this present day. I am filming, editing, and posting all in the same day. decided to save myself some more room to stuff the moon boots with some scarves and accessory type of stuff to just make it useful. So now that all of the boots are in garbage bags, I can now actually lay all of the accessories on top and use the rest of this space since these aren't going to touch the dirty shoes. So I'm just going to lay a whole bunch of flat stuff right over top to really make use of the space that's empty. Like I can shove a scarf in there or a hat or something and just like that I am all ready to go and I'm so happy to be done packing. I can't believe that I did it. It took all day but at least I got it done. I am so ready for this trip. I can't wait to bring you guys all along and I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 10. I love you so much and have an amazing night or day whenever you're watching this. Mwah.